we're looking at the problems associated with a slow stock turnover. That is, it's taking a relatively long time for the stock to be converted into sales. The second problem is profit problems, a decrease in profit caused by slow stock turnover. Slowing stock turnover due to falling sales will have a negative impact on profit performance. That's obvious because sales is revenue. If there's less revenue, there's less profit. Also, slowing stock turnover due to falling sales or excessive stock levels may lead to an increase in stock write downs due to the increasing chance of stock obsolescence and damage that's associated with those excessive stock levels. So if falling stock turnover is due to excessive stock levels, there may also be an increase in expenses such as the freight on that excessive stock, the insurance on that excessive stock, and the increased warehousing costs or expenses associated with that excessive stock. So slowing stock turnover is usually associated with pressure on liquidity and also a downward pressure on profit. Let's look at uh, some data over a five month period for a business and identify the reasons for the changes in the stock turnover. Between January and February, the stock turnover has gone from 113 to 100 days. That's a decrease in days. That is a favorable change in the stock turnover. Why has that occurred? Let's have a look. Sales or cost of sales. Cost of sales, by the way, increases or decreases due to sales. So in this situation, sales has gone from 100,000 to 110,000. So an increase in sales. But look at the average stock levels. It's actually declined. So there's been a decrease in average stock despite the fact that sales have increased. So that means the business must have managed its stock more efficiently during that period of time. Between February and March, 100 to 122, that's more days, that's less efficient management of stock. Let's look at the reasons why. There has been a fall in sales, or cost of sales caused by the sales, so a reduction in sales, but the average stock levels have actually increased. So increasing in stock levels even though you're selling less stock, and that would indicate a less efficient management of stock. Between March and April, 122 to 153, more days, that is unfavorable. That is taking more days on average to convert the stock to sales. Let's look at the reason. Um, there's been a decrease in sales, but there's been a significant increase in the average stock levels. So once again, this indicates uh, inefficient management of the stock. And lastly, between April and May, 153 to 106, so quite a significant decrease in days that is certainly favorable. That is, it's taking less days to convert the stock levels to sales. And let's have a look at the reason why. There's been a increase, quite a significant increase in sales or cost of sales. But at the same time, there's been a quite a significant reduction in the average stock levels. So reducing uh, stock levels, even though sales are going up, that indicates more efficient management of the stock, and that's expressed by the increase in the stock turnover, or less days. More rapid turnover, less days. Let's look at some strategies that a business may employ to try and improve the stock turnover if it was, de you know, if there was more days over time, if it was moving in an unfavorable direction, what can the business do? What can the management do to try and improve the stock turnover? Let's look at the strategies that lead to an improvement in the stock turnover due to an increase in sales. And the most uh, obvious one is improving the stock mix. Try and improve the stock that you offer to your customers that better matches your customer profile's taste and preferences. That should lead to an increase in sales. And secondly, improve your marketing, which means analyze your selling price, that is your markup, improve your merchandising, and improve your advertising. So these two strategies, improve stock mix, improve marketing, should work to improve the stock turnover.